Okay, we can discuss this question from Code Forces Wow Factor. In this question, you are given that a person is finding the wow factor of a string which is a number of its subsequence equal to wow. But Bob want to write a similar string with the large wow factor. However, the W key is in his keyboard is broken, so he will write two V's instead. Okay. So as you can see in this string, how many W's you can form? This can form a W, this can form a W, and this can form a W. So two consecutive V's can be equivalent to a W. So you have to find out how many vows are there in this string. So you can take these two V's, this O, and these two V's, these two V's, this O, and these two V's, this and this. But this cannot be taken because these are not consecutive V's. Okay, so you have to find this out. So let's start with this example as you can see I have written out one example. So now if I have three V's let's take an example. So how many consecutive V's we can form? We can form this or we can form this. So as you can see if we have let's assume n consecutive V's we can form n minus 1 W's because these are consecutive. Okay, and let's assume if this is a pivot point O, we have to find out how many W's are before it and how many W's are after it, such that if there are three W's before one O and two W's after it, we can multiply it and which it can tell how many total vow we can form, which is equal to six. Okay, so if we somehow can find how many w's can be formed before this pivot point so we can use a front and back array so this type of questions are very famous in which you have to do some operations around some point this is a point and you have to find out the number of occurrence before it and after it so you can do what you can do it is you can make two arrays front and back and you try to fill it first this is this front, ed, front array we move from the start if we found any two consecutive v's we increment the count else we copy the same amount okay so we start with zero because at till this position how many consecutive v's are there zero so now at this position how many consecutive v's are there so we just check this and before it and uh, so that both are b's we make it one then both are b's we add this plus one so as you can see at this position there are two consecutive b's at this position still there are two consecutive b's so we make it two only then we make it two now at this position also though it is a v but there are no consecutive b's so still there are two and then three now we start at the back there are zero now there are one consecutive b's one 1, 1, 2, and 3. So the end should be same. Okay. So now, what we can do is we traverse this array from start and this string. And whenever we found a O, we know that there are two W's which can, are before it and one W which is after it. As you can see, this can form a W and this can form a W. So how many W's we can form? 2 into 1. Plus for this 0, how many w's are before it? 2 and how many w's are 1? So 2 into 1. So total is 4. I hope you understand the logic. So let's code it. So what you can do is we first take an input of a string because input consists of only the string. So string s and then we make two vectors long long front let's name it str str 
dot size vector long long back str dot size okay so now what we can do it do is we have to fill those front and back array so we start from one because the initial one is zero less than str dot size i plus plus so if str of i is equal to v and str of i minus 1 is also equal to v so front of i is equal to front of i minus 1 plus 1 else front of i is equal to front of i minus 1 okay now we have to fill the back array so str dot size minus 1 so minus 1 is the last index and minus 2 is the second last index i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus so if str of i is equal to v and str of i plus 1 is also equal to v back of i is equal to back of i plus 1 plus 1 else back of i is equal to back of i plus 1 ok now we have to find out the total answer the long long answer equal to 0 for i for n i equal to 0 i less than str dot size if str of i is o what we have to do is answer plus equal to front of i into back of i and then we have to output answer let's write Equal to four. That is correct. Let's submit it.